Good morning. Today is Monday, the 1st of November, and um, today I have 38 day, 39 days, so praise the Lord. All right, I just want to share a couple of scriptures. Psalms, Psalms 118.24, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. That's Psalms 118.24. Lamentations 3 and 22 through 24. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, but his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So today, it's going to be an awesome day for you. So um, start your day off with a little prayer, a little thankfulness. You know, it's good to have an attitude of gratitude. You know, nobody ever said it was going to be easy. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be work. You already know the saying, anything worth having is worth, anything worth working for is worth having. So, um, you know, get up, love yourself, brush your teeth, take a shower, get the kids on time. You know, but before you do all that, just... Sit in the bed and just thank God and just ask God daily because I have to ask him daily. God, continue to do the work in me. God, please remove these desires in me that are unlike you. Make me righteous. Make me good. Lord, let me have my ways pleasing unto you. You know, I don't know about y'all, but I still want God to give me the desires of my heart. You know, there's a lot of things on my bucket list that I need done, that I need to do myself to feel fulfilled. You know, I want to learn how to trust people. I want to learn how to um, continue to just be transparent. I want God to always check my my um, intentions. I always want to have good intentions. I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be envious. I be on Facebook and I see all y'all beautiful people, beautiful families. And that is such a blessing. I'm so happy for you guys. Um, I have wonderful children, but I would like to have, you know, a husband one day. But, you know, my ways need to be pleasing unto the Lord. And I know that those days are coming for me, you know. Um, so praise God for that, you know. Um but uh, I got through this week, y'all. This weekend, I should say. I didn't smoke a cigarette. I continue wearing my patches. The only thing about the patches, they itch a little bit. When I put them on different places in my body, I'm super sensitive. So put it over here in the back. It itches. And my leg, it itches. It just itches. Um, but it has been working. I've been having my moments, but I've been getting through those moments. Um, you know, I think it feels good not to smoke. I mean, I definitely smell better. I definitely don't stink, you know, but um, I never really stuck anyways. But anyways, um, so it feels good not to have, that, you know, all that smoke on me. You know, I know it's work in progress. So anybody who think they can't stop smoking, look, I smoked for 20 some years. I've only, I don't, you know, I don't, even, I don't even count. I know it's been over a week. So Monday, I'm not gonna give myself like, you know, credit or fronts on my days. I'll just say for sure two weeks on next Monday. But, um, you know, I got through the weekend without smoking a cigarette. As stressful as it was during Halloween. Okay, kids want to do this. Kids want to do that. But I got through this weekend. I didn't pick up. I didn't go to the casino, y'all. I ain't got no more free play like that no more. I, you know, went from last month. I mean, the month before, 400. Last month, 300. So it's probably down to 200. But I'm not even going to trip about it. You know what I mean? Because all that was my money that I put in. But it ain't nothing but the trick of the enemy. Because what happened is I'll go, you know, if, if I would want to go play that 300, then 
technically I would have lost that and then I would have probably added another 600 to it so really I don't got money like that it's time for me to start saving up I want to go on trips and stuff you know before I couldn't look past the weekend you know but now I can my eyes are starting to see a little bit clearer I can think about possibly one day taking a trip you know I mean my daughter live out of state and it probably would have been a matter of $300 ticket I mean it had been I've never she been out there for at least maybe 14 years not once did I go out there so and I know people who used and took trips but I didn't and and I I've had $300 in my hand so many times but um, you know my brain is a little different today because I'm starting to see big pictures. I'm starting to think big thoughts. It goes beyond my next fix, next casino trip. I'm telling y'all, I used to think check by check, not paycheck, check by check, whatever check, stimulus check, whatever kind of check, income tax, I didn't even legally deserve or, or get or somebody else getting check by check situation by situation you know but now I get to make and create my own situations my own checks because I'm getting a job you know I today is oh today is milestone Mondays for me honey boom let me tell you I got an orientation today um, for a job and so Wow, that's good. I mean, you know, I done did some um, some door dashing, but I didn't need no orientation for that. But I done got things, some fingerprinting done, TB testing, like, like that's a normal thing to do. But I can't remember the last time something like that has happened for me. You know, so I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful that I'm starting to feel like I can live in this life. I can be normal. Maybe I, I can be happy again. I mean, I feel good. You know, I need work still, still one moment at a time. But I can do all things through Christ. And every time I get discouraged, you know, I have to say those things to myself. Like, I can do all things through Christ. Believe it or not, me being on here is like therapy. It's like my my counseling for myself. It's not always about me helping somebody else, but it's me helping me. So find out what helps you, what you feel like you may need. Tell your friends, tell your family what you may need. I know a lot of times we're givers. As mothers, we're naturally giving and we don't think about those things what do i need throughout this day for my family for my friends do i get lonely even though i'm you know i act like i got it going on do i need to hear from my friends do i need my friends to call me and say hello i love you i'm thinking about you or do i got to be the only one doing the calling Figure out what it is that you need. I'm needy. So any of my friends watching, I'm needy, y'all. Okay? But in Jesus' name, I'm coming up out of that. I'm getting better. But I need support. And prayers. Intercede for me. Pray for me. And I just want to just say... A quick prayer and then I'm gone y'all I got I got got to get up got to get these boys up father God I just thank you for this day I thank you for my friends that may be watching I pray Lord that you touch their heart touch their minds 
if they are battling addiction or if they know somebody else that is, I pray that you touch them, you heal them, take the desires, take the cravings away, give us the knowledge, give us the wisdom, the strength, the courage to get through this moment that we're going through, these cravings, Father God. I pray, God, that you open up doors, new doors, that you give us new playgrounds. Lord, I just thank you, Jesus. I pray, Father God, that we step out of ourself and show brotherly kindness to somebody else who is in need. Father God, I just thank you for that. Lord, I pray that you forgive us for our sins. Father God, I just pray, Lord, if somebody is trying to have a relationship with you, Lord, that you just comfort them right now and you just send a sign to them, Father God. Just open their hearts and minds so they can receive you, Father God. We know that we can't enter through the kingdom of heaven without through your son, Jesus Christ. I pray that they open their hearts to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I just thank you, Lord, for this awesome day, for this awesome week. And I just, Lord, pray that you just continue to equip us with our weapons that we need to fight these bad thoughts, these demons, these situations that we may be faced against this week. Where we feel weak, I pray for strength right now. Any sicknesses in our body, Father God, I pray you take it away. And I just thank you, Jesus. I just thank you, Lord, for them right now. And I just thank you, Lord, for healing our minds daily, strengthening our heart, putting love back into us. Lord, I just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy, Father God. You are so wonderful. You are so awesome. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all, we can do this. We can do this together. So be blessed, and um, and I pray my strength.